Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a you versus them read. This is going to be for the sign of Capricorn and it's timeless. Whenever you come across, it's when you're meant to see it. And when you do come across, it only takes something if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, leave it for somebody else. Huh? This is little Delilah. She's a little spirit guide and mascot here on the channel. So she just lays here looking cute and sleeping. All right, guys, don't forget about the two situations. Situation one, never, ever, ever give your money out to anybody on the internet, on any social platform that contacts you. They are trying to rob you, all right? And the second situation are these freaking buttons and these bells. Oh, my God, I hate them. So if you can find it in your heart to ring my bell and hit my button, I would ever be so grateful to you. Um, it's free, it's fun, and it is for entertainment purposes only. So here we go. This is how this works. You, whoever you are, whether you're a course watcher or whether you're the Capricorn, you're the Quirant because you're watching. So you're on the left. Whoever they are, it's going to be different for everybody, right? They're on the right. Now, we do not have tarot police here. And, uh, you know, energy is fluid. So if you resonate more with the right side, take it. Nobody cares, right? It's easy. Stay in the flow. Taoism. Show me. I know, but I'm going to refer to the Capricorn as over here because this is the Capricorn reading. I mean, it's just to keep my head straight. I get confused easy, okay? <laughs> here we go. Uh, all right, so Capricorn, you're in a good energy here. You are in a, you know, you have hope for the future. You're looking ahead. Maybe you're very prosperous right now. Um, creative, very content. Maybe you want a renewal in some kind of a situation, right? Okay. What you're bringing to the table is... Well, that's good. You're, you're being what you're bringing to the table. If you are bringing an offer to the table, it's a solid offer that maybe you know, maybe to to have some kind of hope for the future. The Knight of Pentacles is very solid. Okay, they're reliable and responsible. So you you got your head in the game. Show me what they're doing over here. Geez, whoever this is, okay, <laughs> whoever this is, show me what they're doing. Please and thank you. Okay, that's too many. We don't want to know all that, right? Too much information. TMI, TMI, too much information. Show me, Capricorn. Here we go. Okay, we got you. We got him now, Capricorn. Yes, we do. Okay, so what they uh, got going on is the Nine of Swords in reverse. And uh, what they're bringing to the table is the Five of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so, you know, uh -huh, this is not amazing. So, Nine of Swords in reverse. Maybe they're learning how to cope with the situation right now. They're in a state of recovery. Uh, they might have some shame. They might have some guilt. And they might even be seeking professional help. Whatever that is, okay? Also, with the Five of Cups, you know, we know that this is a loss. So, they're looking at this like, you know, they're not bringing anything. They're maybe trying to just heal at this point. What's the mutual energy? Oh, let me turn the cards around. What's the mutual energy? Okay. So, we're going to take that one. The mutual energy is you might have some aggression between the two of you. I mean, you might there might be some arguing going on right now, some conflicts. You know, you're conflicted towards each other. That's for damn sure. That's the mutual energy. All right, show me the future actions for Capricorn. My nose is itching, guys. Okay. If you, uh, you want a breakthrough in the situation. Okay, whoever you are watching me. You want a breakthrough in this situation. Show me what you're bringing to the table now. Just because we want something doesn't make it so, right? What you're bringing to the table is this, uh, Seven of Pentacles. Oh, you're going to want to invest effort. Oh, fairness and balance. I mean, I'm not keeping this at the bottom, but, you know, it came out with it because it's the spread. But fairness and balance, and a breakthrough, some fairness and balance, and you want to invest some effort into whatever situation this is, okay? What are they doing over here? And what are they bringing to the table in the future? Show me. Okay, what they're doing over there. Okay, so they're going to bring some fast, um, some, some, yeah, they want communication. Okay, they do want communication. So, um, they're in the energy of trying to communicate with you. And maybe there's going to be another love offer on the table. The night of, uh, you know, cups is love, okay? So, they still have feelings for you. Um, you know, I mean, they're going to have a good demeanor. They're going to come at you in a nice way. Oh, I'm even come at me correct or not at all. Show me the mutual energy here in the future, please. What's the mutual energy here in the future? One card. Thank you. Uh, they might not be making any moves. Uh, the Four of Swords is like all tied up and tied down, okay? The Four of Swords, this talks about, you know, rest, recuperation and stuff. But it is it is like being by yourself. It's like going in your sanctuary. It's not really being very open, okay? It's being closed off. Look at this. This uh, mermaid guy is like laying there all closed off in the, in the yeah. So you're not going to, you're going to be closed off to each other. That's really, Show me what the most likely outcome is this. Please. 
the most likely outcome, please. The Capricorn and them. Capricorn and them. Here we go. Show me. What's the most likely outcome of this? One card, please, and thank you. Please, come on. Can I please have a card? Thank you so much, ancestors. Is the Six of Swords. Eesh. My don't want to be. This looks like the end, Capricorn. The Six of Swords. We know what this is. This is sorrow and transition. This is getting out of Dodge before any more of a, you know, heartache, trouble, drama. Trying to avoid drama. That's what it is. It's a departure. It's accepting your lessons and moving on. So this doesn't, this looks like an epic fail. Sorry to tell you. So, you know, keep it moving. Maybe keep, use this hope that you have for the future here, you know, on learning how to work your money better, securing your bag. Maybe it's about time you concentrate on your bag and forget about this, yeah? And you can bring a breakthrough. Here at the bottom, you got the Six of Cups. So, you know, this could be somebody from your past and you're nostalgic about them. Uh, but you know what I'm hearing? Been there, done that. Keep moving forward in a positive direction. Show me the romance angels for this, please, for Capricorn. Okay. You deserve love. You are lovable. Yes, well, everybody is, right? Regardless. Show me, Capricorn. Please and thank you, Capricorn. A couple more cards. Oh, jeez. We're not taking all those guys. I'm so sorry. I'll take the bottom three. Here we go. Four. I'll take these four. Okay, now that we made a huge mess here, let's see what we have. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Then you have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others and let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. At the bottom of the Romance Angels, you have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level. So, you know, like I said, it's going to be different for everybody because everybody's got a different story. Now we do letters, all right? This is the initials, uh, names that I can think of, people, places, things, whatever. And if you see something, because it is kind of like playing Jeopardy, when it's right in your face like this, you can't really do as well as when I'm screaming at the people about the words. Okay, so we got Kevin, Karen, um, Keisha, I'm hearing. Okay, there's a D and an F. I'm hearing Fred. I'm hearing. Okay, we got uh, Pearl. So maybe somebody calls somebody kitten. Pearl. Pearl. I'm getting Pearl. Uh, let me see. We have E's and O's. I's. There is a D. Dina. Dean. Dean or Dean David. Deirdre. Delilah, of course, right? Uh, somebody's favor. I'm hearing um, Kentucky. Kentucky. I'm in Brooklyn. I mean, what's that? Boston. I'm hearing Boston. Yeah. Jersey. New Jersey. Look at that. We have M. Maryland. MD right there. Maybe somebody's a doctor or from Maryland. Um I'm hearing Fern. Fern, is that a name? Ben. Look, I got Ben right there. Len. Got Len. Um, lemon. Lemon. We got Lemon. Look at that. Somebody, somebody's, maybe some of you, maybe somebody's a lemon. Maybe somebody likes lemons. Maybe somebody just bought a lemon. Joe. Josie. Um, Janet. Jarrell. Barbara. Bill. Billy. Bob. Billy Bob, Billy or Bob, Billy Bob, I don't know. Um, Victor, Vivette, what's the count? A Vivette, what is that? There is a blank here, so you can make it anything you want. Um, let me see. How about uh, Pam or uh, Paige? I'm hearing Paige. I'm hearing Paul. I'm hearing Phil. Loud and clear, I hear that, Phil. And I don't even have an H. Um, Lisa. Klein, maybe Klein is somebody's last name. All right, well, there you go, guys. This one's a blank, so. Boo, I'm hearing boo. Who calls somebody boo? Body, booty. Somebody's booty. It's a booty call. Somebody a booty call out there? Five. 
five. That could be a number, obviously. I'm hearing soon. Look at this, soon. I'm also hearing doom. I don't like that, but. All right, guys, there are your letters. Fun, huh? Okay, thank you so much. Always remember, leave the logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy, and it's an illusion. Trust in God because calm is real. Until next time, love and light.